Let's open up some new Funko Pops. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a massive unboxing as I have five boxes here full of brand new Funko Pops to add to my collection. Before we get started with the first box though, can we just appreciate that we have less than two weeks until the first episode of The Bad Batch Season 3. I absolutely can't wait. I know all my fellow Star Wars fans and collectors out there are probably dying to find out what's going to happen to the team as well. So, first box that we have right here. I know some of these items are from GameStop, some are from the Funko Shop, and a few of them are recent NFT. Deli deliveries. Uh, I believe this first one is an NFT. It is a Freddy Funko, which is always good. They are coming out with a lot of really good Freddies these days, especially the one they dropped this week for the uh, Fantastic Plastic line, that glow-in-the-dark amazing Carlos Freddy. Cannot wait to get that one in hand, and because the figure is mainly green, I have a feeling that glow is going to be spectacular. But in the meantime, this is one that I know Joanna was also very excited for from the Hanna-Barbera drop, limited to 2,300 pieces. We have Freddy Funko with Huckleberry Hound. How cute is that? I'm actually gonna take this one out of the box really quick. Got it in a nice fresh hard stack like it should be. I might upgrade it to an armor, we'll see. But um, absolutely beautiful job on this one by Funko. Huckleberry Hound is very significant within the Funko history timeline as uh, he was one of the first characters that they made as um, Brian Mariotti, who is not really with the company so much as he was in the past, but he was a diehard Hanna-Barbera fan. So that's why a lot of the original Funko products have Huckleberry Hound and other famous Hanna-Barbera characters, but this looks awesome. And look at this, he's got like a varsity jacket on and it says Hanna-Barbera on the back. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then not to mention on the sleeves, you have other Hanna-Barbera characters. And I can see Squidly Diddly, Secret Squirrel is on there. That's such an amazing detail. You wouldn't even know that that was the case without busting the uh, pop out of the box. So sometimes you gotta bust your pops out of the box, get them in hand so you can catch, you know, capture all the little details that Funko likes to add. But that was pop number one. Let's see what's in box number two. Box number two, I believe, is from GameStop. A bunch of my GameStop orders finally came in as there's been quite a few Star Wars pops that I was eagerly awaiting. Also over at GameStop, they recently dropped the very popular Tails exclusive soda. That has been so much fun ripping here in the community. But, oh man, no bubble wrap, no packaging, that's okay, because um, this pop seems to be in good condition. This is one that, oh man, I really wanted so bad. This is one of the amazing recent Star Wars 2 packs they came out with. Check out Darth Maul going up against Pre Vizsla with the Darksaber. This is so freaking awesome. So this is the first pop of Pre Vizsla, so very nice to see a brand new Star Wars character coming in Funko form. I am always a huge proponent of them doing that with new characters. We have another character in this box who has had quite a few pops, the Darth Maul here. The Darth Maul is cool, it's similar to the NYCC one we got last year with the robotic legs. I wasn't really excited for that one, but this is the main reason why I wanted this two pack. Guys, check this out. I know Joanna's gonna make fun of me a little bit because I absolutely love the jetpack pops, but this is so freaking cool. Not that many pops of characters holding the Darksaber, but very, very important that they gave Pre Vizsla the Darksaber, especially if you guys have watched the Clone Wars and everything. The Darth Maul here, he looks pretty good as well. Like I said, he's got the uh, one lightsaber, he's got the robotic legs, similar to the NYCC one. Not a bad one, definitely gonna make a great out of box display. I'm probably gonna keep mine in box just because I'm a inbox collector, but let's see what's in the next box that I have over here. Box number three, I believe, is another GameStop order. So even though I'm pretty sure I made the order for these pops at the same time, they shipped in separate smaller boxes. Maybe that's cheaper 
more efficient for GameStop, not sure. Um, but here we actually have a little bit of bubble wrap, which is good. We got some air pockets and such. Always good to see that. And we also have another Star Wars 2-pack. Oh, man. This one is damaged. Ugh. Oh, it's really damaged. Oh, man. That's a bummer. All right. Well, might have to contact GameStop, but this is one that I was really looking forward to for my collection. I know a lot of other people here in the community were as well because we have the technically third ever pop of Captain Rex, but more importantly, the second time we're seeing him in his classic white and blue clone trooper armor. We also have a brand new pop right here, Pong Krell. First time, just like Pre Vizsla, first time we're ever getting Pong Krell as a Funko Pop. Now with the damage um, right off the bat, I saw damage on the bottom of the box, but look at poor Captain Rex's rangefinder. That thing is just absolutely destroyed. So that's a huge bummer, but look at the bottom of the box. This thing got crunched during the shipping process, unfortunately. So this might be an out of box contender, but I gotta take him out of the box here. Now this is very significant. If you guys don't know why, if you're not big Star Wars fans, that's totally okay. The Captain Rex New York Comic Con Funko Pop that came out for 2018 is extremely expensive. And it is, it is highly desired by a lot of Star Wars fans. And I actually think that Funko did a perfect job with this one because they put this Captain Rex in a two pack. It's also a slightly different pose than the original one, even though he's in similar armor. Um, and I don't think it's going to devalue the 2018 New York Comic Con one. So I kind of think it's perfect for both sets of collectors, whether you have the original one or you don't have it. Um, and if you do have the original one, you have to get this two pack because it has Pong Krell. And I doubt they're going to make another version of him at least anytime soon, if ever. He's looking fantastic. Of course, he has multiple arms and multiple lightsabers. Really freaking cool, very significant character here from the Clone Wars, if you guys saw that, especially the Umbara arc. And um, here we go, here is Captain Rex. He is looking fantastic. He's got a little bit more of like a, a yellowish, dirty tinge to his uh, helmet. I'll have to break out the original one and see if that one is the same way. Maybe they designed it that way, um, but I love that he also has the tick marks on his side of the helmet and everything. Nice little braced dynamic pose. So looking pretty awesome. Great job on this one. Wish uh, GameStop did a better job shipping this, but I'll have to reach out to their customer support and see if they can send a replacement. Next box is a little bit bigger and uh, I believe it is another NFT delivery, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. There's a lot of boxes in the house right now. We are actually Packing up a lot of stuff because we are getting ready to move again. Hopefully this will be the last move that we have to make for a few years, but there's just boxes everywhere. So um, let's crack this up, open, and um, see what we got inside here. A lot of bubble wrap, which is great. Always love seeing the bubble wrap. And it looks like, yes, this is, oh, I forgot about these. Oh, this is special. Oh, man. So you guys have been following Drop, following Funko, they actually gave us a very surprise present last year for April Fools. And here we have the April Fools NFT Drop, which they just did such a good job on. Oh man, I totally forgot about these. They've just been sitting here for like a month. I've seen a lot of people post these pops on Instagram. We need more surprise drops exactly the way they did it. I think they gave us like three hours notice before the very limited amount of packs went live. Like that's, that's how you do it. And there was only three pops in the drop. So um, I actually am lucky enough to have all three of them right here and Wow, these are some pretty special pops. One of which I don't plan on keeping. It's kind of funny. Um, it's it's very odd. But here we have the 2,000 piece egg, which I believe is um, a significant reference. I forget why, but um, it's kind of funny. He actually does have like the Freddy Funko crown, if you guys can see that. So really funny one. I've seen a lot of people make some really funny content by like putting the egg in the refrigerator or just like messing around and like trying to have breakfast and stuff. So really, really creative uh, content that I've seen over on the internet. Um, these next two, 
Oh my gosh, these next two are freaking special. They are 1000% staying in my collection. Limited to 2,250 pieces. Check this one out. We have Baby Freddy. How incredible is this? This is like the first time that we have Freddy as like a, a different age, a, a different, you know, period of his life here. But I love the fact that they kind of supersized the crown on him and to make it look like, you know, it barely fits his head and everything. And um, he also has another little fun little Funko reference there with the little bobblehead wacky wobbler of the devil that he's holding. That is another character from, uh, you know, Funko's history of something really old that they came out with many years ago. So really nice touch there. This is super freaking cute. I'm so excited to have this one. And then the final one in the wave, this was the Big Grail, limited to only 999 pieces. Freddy Funko holding Max Token Head. And unfortunately, you can't see it unless I turn the box. Actually, just like the other Freddy where he's holding Huckleberry Hound, I'm going to take him out of the box. And this one's really cool too because actually on his shirt, he's got the drop logo and everything. So they really knocked it out of the park once again. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. Oh, this pop just gets better and better as you take it out of the box. So not only is Freddy Funko holding Max Token Head here, Max Token Head is actually holding a smaller version of Freddy. That's gotta be the world's smallest Funko Pop right there. That has to be. I don't even know how much smaller they can make it. Hopefully you guys can see it on the camera and everything. It is super, super tiny, but that is incredible. Oh my gosh. Wow. That, that's super cool. It seems like every year they just keep making the pops smaller and smaller, but that has got to be the world's smallest Freddy Funko. Absolutely amazing wave. I'm so excited to see what other cool and unique creative NFT drops they can do here in 2024. But before we get to that, I got one more giant box to open. And for the final box, this is actually coming direct from the Funko shop. And once again, if you guys are Star Wars fans, then you probably know at least one of the pops inside this box. I was so excited when this clone trooper finally hit the Funko shop. I don't know why it took so long. It felt like they were just tormenting us. Uh, but unlike GameStop today, Funko actually did a very good job. So I ordered, I think, six pops from this order, and they actually did a really good job shipping them. So let's see what is in sleeve number one. I actually don't mind these. You know, they do a good job of protecting the pops and everything. And you know what? I figured, I was like, you know what? I'm here. I got to get free shipping anyway. I'm just going to buy another round of these to have for the collection. If I can get this open, they might've done too good of a job packing it. Okay, there we go. Here we go. The, now this is my first time seeing these in person. I actually have these from another order that I ordered from a different retailer. But right here we have three pops from the absolute amazing Ahsoka wave. And right here we have my favorite character from the show Bale and Skull, look how amazing this one is. Unfortunately, the actor did pass away, which is, you know, super tragic and everything. But honestly, I think in a way it kind of makes this pop a little bit more special. Um, his performance in Ahsoka was legendary. Only complaint on this pop is I wish the lightsaber was a little bit more orange. It kind of has like a more red tinge to it where if you guys saw the show he did have a orange lightsaber which was pretty cool but pop looks amazing um really wish he was still with us of course definitely um a tragedy but hopefully they can somehow you know work that into season two i would love to see more of his backstory in tales of the jedi season two that would also be really cool now we have balin now we have his apprentice shin hati she once again incredible character from Ahsoka. Um, they definitely kind of stole the show, in my opinion, and I would really love to see more on Shin and where her story goes and everything in the uh, this New Republic era that we're in right now in Star Wars. And then we had one of the antagonists, Morgan Elsbeth. I would really like to see her with the um, 
the weapon that she was bestowed with towards the end of the Ahsoka series. So for right now, she's kind of just a placeholder. I have a feeling that they're going to be giving or making a pop of her with um, with that weapon that she was given. It's escaping me at the moment. Um, but that would be really cool, especially if it was like glow in the dark or something. That would be a good con ex exclusive. All right, so I have three more pops right here. Man, that weapon is really driving me nuts. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. They put all the troopers in uh, one sorter here. I wonder if someone did that on purpose. So the big drop that we were all waiting for here is the phase one clone trooper, where if you guys are big Clone Wars fans, Star Wars collectors and everything, you'll probably notice the blue markings so we can kind of safely assume that this is a 501st clone trooper. There's actually only one other official 501st clone trooper pop i am actually very lucky enough to own it in my collection and that's why once again just like the captain rex i think it's great that they dropped this and i think we need more clone trooper pops to give collectors a chance to get them at retail and not to pay you know exorbitant prices uh for pops that came out 10 12 years ago over on the aftermarket um this one is awesome they came out with a three couple 330 second troopers as well so um, really cool to be getting more clones. And then these two, once again, from the Ahsoka show, I really think it's awesome how they gave us two versions of Thrawn's Night Troopers, and they're both significantly different. And I think it was really wise of Funko to do this, considering in the Ahsoka show, we saw hundreds of Thrawn's Night Troopers, and they were all a little bit different. They were all a little bit unique. And um, I think that was really cool, because typically in Star Wars, when you have a certain trooper, whether it's Clone Trooper, Storm Trooper, Sith Trooper, Death Trooper, like they kind of all look the same, except for the one leading the uh, the battalion or the, um, the legion of clones and everything. So a um, lot of great pops that I'm super excited to be adding to the collection. So guys, let me know which one was your favorite down in the comment section below. And also, let me know if you picked up any of these, either from the Funko Shop, GameStop, or any of the recent NFTs. I would love to hear about everyone's recent pickups down below. If you haven't done so, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so, smash the like button, and we will hopefully see you guys tonight over on Professor Josh's channel for Pop Force One, our weekly Funko News live stream at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. We rotate between Professor Josh, myself, and the Pop and Duo every single Thursday night. We talk about every Everything going on here in the Funko community and we would definitely love to have you join the chat hang out with us for a couple minutes let us know your thoughts on what's going on in the Funko world or just hang out and uh, enjoy the company of everybody else virtually so guys that's gonna do it thank you so much for watching as always don't stop shooting until you score and we'll see you all tonight